Hello YouTube, Sri Tips here. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, this video is going to be the first video in a long series of videos where I'm going to try to uh, cast a pure silver chess set using uh, pure silver crystal that I refined in, uh, in my electrolytic silver cell. This is one kilo. And what I'm going to do is uh, create the uh, pieces uh, and use the lost wax method of casting uh, these chess pieces. Uh, the first step here, I just got this piece of equipment today. I bought it at Harbor Freight for $99. It's a paint pot, a pressurized paint pot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a vacuum chamber that I can use to degas my molds. And we're going to do that right now and show you how we're going to convert this pressurized paint pot to a vacuum chamber. All right, what we have here is the uh, pressurized paint pot. It's got some clamping devices here to clamp the lid in place. Inside here, we've got a, uh, a rubber gasket that creates a seal with this inner portion of the uh, tank here. And so what I'm going to do is some more components in here. Get these out. This is a pressure regulator for the, uh, the paint. I'm not going to be using that. I'm just going to set that aside. I think it goes on here. Like so, there's a little fitting here, and this screws on like this, and then that supplies air to pressurize this. And then this connection is where the paint gun connects to. Air is applied with this pressure regulator to the pot and pushes paint out to a spray gun. But we're not going to use it for for painting. What we're going to do is I'm going to convert it now to a uh, to a vacuum chamber. I bought these fittings at the hardware store. This is just a ball valve to uh, bleed off the uh, vacuum inside the uh, chamber there. And then this is just a T. It's got a pipe nipple down here that screws into here. And up here we got a uh, fitting to slide the uh, vacuum tube over. And then I got another fitting over here coming out the side for the uh, vacuum gauge. First thing I'm going to do is take the uh, regulator off. We won't be using that. I'm just going to take that off and set it off to the side over here. And then the next thing we're going to do is unscrew this from the lid. This is a relief valve and a, a fitting to, so that the regulator can be attached. And I just put a wrench on there. It looks like it was epoxied in. I've already taken it out bef beforehand, but anyway, I'm just going to unscrew it here and set it to the side because we won't be needing this. Now I'm going to lift the lid off. This thing's pretty heavy. It's heavy gauge steel and underneath this fitting is a little uh, diverter that allows the uh, air to divert out sideways either way and it's got a pickup tube for the paint. And uh, I'm just going to leave all that in place and uh, Inside the paint pot here is just a, uh, is just a, uh, like a coating inside there, a rubberized coating. And that's where we'll be uh, doing the gassing of the molds that I'll be making. Here's the four pieces I'll be using for the uh, vacuum connection. It's a 3 8 inch pipe thread nipple that fits in here. Then we've got the, uh, the T 3 8 inch pipe thread. That'll go on here, like so. Then we've got the uh, connection for the uh, vacuum. Go like that. And then the connection for the gauge, and that'll go up here. It'll be just like that.
Now I'll install the ball valve, which is what we'll use to uh, break the vacuum inside the uh, chamber here. And it's just a matter of uh, Now I'll connect the gauge, hook up the vacuum line, tighten everything down, and shut the valve, and we'll run a test on this thing. I borrowed the gauge off of my, uh, my uh, filter flask, uh, my filtering table over there. cinched everything down pretty good here and what I'm going to do is go light off the vacuum pump and uh, I'm going to go in the other room because I don't know what this thing is going to do. I hope it don't blow up but uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a full vacuum test here. Should be okay. This thing's real heavy gauge steel. It's got a good seal it, uh, gasket on top to seal it up real good so it should be okay. All right, I got everything cinched down. Here we go. All right, we got it up to uh, 25 inches of vacuum, and it's still climbing. Uh, I think that'll that'll uh, be enough vacuum to degas my uh, my molds and my investment when I go to do this casting. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and shut the vacuum pump off and uh, bleed the uh, vacuum off the vacuum chamber. Vacuum's coming down after I turn the pump off, which is to be expected, I guess. But now I'm going to open this ball valve real slow here and just slowly bleed that pressure off. There it goes. I can hear it. Nice. Test complete. Test successful. So now I have a degassing chamber to uh, degas my molds when I go to cast these uh, chest pieces. Well, that was a successful test of my vacuum chamber here. Took a uh, paint pot from Harbor Freight. It was $99. And I added the fittings and put this gauge on here for my vacuum table and a ball valve. And uh, made a nice vacuum chamber here so that I can uh, degas the uh, molds that I'm going to make. I'm going to make some silicon molds of the chest pieces and then I'm going to eject those with the wax, take the wax pieces out, and then put some investment uh, uh, casting around the uh, uh, wax pieces. And then I'm going to burn that out in an oven, heat them up red hot, and pour molten pure silver into the uh, cavity that's left after the wax is burned out and it'll make a whole chest set like that so appreciate you tuning in and uh, watching my video on this this is the first in a uh, long series it's going to take a long time because i've never done it before
And so this will all be new stuff to me, and we can learn it together. I'd like to thank my subscribers and uh, you folks that like to tune in and watch my videos, man. I really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching.